Hey everyone, my name is Miss Haley from Code Speak Labs, and welcome back to our YouTube channel. As November is coming to a close, and we are eight months into the pandemic, I know for most of us it's still hard to get together with friends and family in person. But while we may not be able to see each other face to face, there are still so many ways that we can keep in touch and communicate. One of those ways is through the power of a postcard. So today on Scratch, we're going to show you how to create a travel postcard that you can send to anyone, anywhere in the world, digitally. Y'all ready to code? Let's go! Alright folks, we're going to jump straight into our Scratch project for the day, and we are building a travel postcard. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go down to the bottom right hand corner and I'm going to upload my postcard backdrop and if you aren't sure on how to upload your own sprites and your own backdrops I will put a link into our YouTube video that shows you how to find an image on the internet or an image that you might have in your computer and upload that onto Scratch. So here's my travel postcard as a backdrop and and after we upload our travel postcard backdrop what we're going to do is we're going to pick a second backdrop. So this backdrop is where you're going to transport the person who receives this postcard. So for example say I want to send this postcard to my friend in New York City. Um, we're going to go down to choose a backdrop And I want her to be able to travel to, I guess, let's do the colorful city. And then if we click our backdrops, we should be able to see both of the ones that we selected. And there we go, we see the postcard, and then we see our colorful city backdrop. Alright, so with every postcard, it is very important that we include a message. So let's go to our backdrops. And let's go to our postcard. And we're going to be using the text button today. So we're going to click the T and we're going to add just a friendly greeting message to my friend. I'll say greetings. From the colorful city. I wish you were here. And I'll say hope to see you soon. So for those who are much more creative and artistic than I am, feel free to change the color of the font. You can actually change the font. So if I highlight on my text, you change it to red. You can also change the font. Marker, oh, I like that. And let's size this up a little bit. Perfect. And this will be to my friend. It's probably important to also put who this is from. I'll say from um, Coach Haley. And also, if you upload your own postcard backdrop and you see that there is just a little bit of space, so you might be able to see we zoom in. If you can see a little bit of a checkboard background, whoops, what we can do is we can select our backdrop, we'll highlight it, and we'll just expand it a little bit. So get rid of the empty space so that the postcard covers the entire stage. Just a little quick tip. All right, awesome, and then we'll leave the colorful city backdrop as is. Perfect. All right, so let's go to the code for our postcard. 
So click the postcard and we'll click our code. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to make sure that whenever the green flag is clicked that we start on the postcard backdrop. So I'm going to go into events. I'm going to go to looks and we'll do switch backdrop to postcard. Step two is we want to switch the backdrop whenever the postcard or the stage is clicked. So I'm going to go back into events and I'm going to grab the block that says when stage clicked. And when the stage is clicked, we're going to switch the backdrop to our colorful city. All right, so if I click the green flag, we see our postcard, and then I click the stage, it switches to the colorful city. Perfect. The last thing we're going to do for our code inside of our postcard is we're going to broadcast a message. So we're going to go into events. I'm going to drag my broadcast button and we'll just name this begin. So what's going to happen is we're going to broadcast a message and that message is going to be received by either our sprite or our backdrop and then something is going to happen. Awesome, and we'll just double check that our code is in for both of our backdrops and it is perfect. All right, so let's code our sprite now. Um, and I don't know if I want to use the cat. Let's see if we can use a different sprite. Hmm. Kind of feeling this dot dog. We'll get rid of this. Awesome. So. What's going to happen is when our stage is clicked and we switch over to the colorful city, we want our dog to become animated and to walk across the postcard. So we're going to drag a few blocks in to do this. We'll drag when green flag clicked. Then we'll go into motion and make sure he starts at a proper starting point, which is at the beginning of the postcard. So let's change this to negative 200 and we'll change y to negative 100. And then the last block we'll be adding is a block called hide. So why do we need to hide the dog when the green flag is clicked? Well, we don't want our dog to appear on the postcard backdrop. We only want the dog to appear when it switches to the colorful city. So when our green flag is clicked, we want the dog to become hidden. Perfect. He's gone. All right. We want the dog to appear only when our stage is switched to the colorful city. So we're going to have to add a few lines of code. The first one we're going to add is when I receive begin. So remember how I mentioned that broadcast block? Our postcard broadcasted a message called begin. Our dog dot is going to receive that message. So it says when I receive begin. And once he receives that message, he's going to do something. And so what is he going to do? He's going to appear. And we're going to drag our show block in. And after he appears, we're going to have him walk across the postcard and it'll make him look like he's walking through the colorful city. So let's drag a forever, actually, we'll drag a repeat block in. And then we'll switch his costume to make it look like the dog is walking. And then we shall change X by five. Let's repeat this 20 times. And let's also add a little bit of a delay. We'll do 0.1 seconds. Let's also give this dog some text. So I'll go into my look section. Let's grab a say block. And we'll say, whoa, 
tool view. And then we'll eventually want the dog to stop walking. So once he reaches the end of our postcard, we'll have him switch back into his first costume. So let's go and find the repeat until block. And I'm going to go into sensing and look for a block called touching mouse pointer. And we're going to change this to touching edge, which means once the dog reaches the edge of our stage. And let's switch his costume one more time. And then we'll change X by 5. And then once that occurs, we're going to hide our dog. And then we shall stop all. All right, so let's see what happens. I click the green flag. All right, greetings from the colorful city. I wish you were here. Hope to see you soon from Coach Haley to my friend. I click the stage. The colorful city, whoa, cool view. Uh-oh, our dog is going just a little bit fast. Maybe we can add a delay in there. <laughs> All right, let's add a little bit of a weight. Point one. He's like spinning. Let's try it. And there he goes. <laughs> let's check the costumes. All right, so if you don't want the dog to spin, you can get rid of the last costume. And let's see if he just walks. Okay, there we go. So if you chose the dot sprite like me and you don't want the dog to spin, just get rid of the last costume. All right, and there you have it. So this is just a basic way to create a travel postcard, but feel free to add as many sprites and as many backdrop changes as you want. If you want to send your friend to so many different places, feel free to choose more than two backdrop switches. There's so many things you can do. All right, folks, that's all we have for you today. I hope you enjoyed creating your own travel postcard in Scratch, and I hope that you get the chance to send this to your friends and family across the world. And without further ado, you know what time it is. Cue the virtual applause. Yeah! All right, if you enjoyed today's project, make sure to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and I hope to see you all for next week's Scratch Project. This is Coach Haley from Code Speak Labs, logging off. See ya.